Hi, welcome. We are going to do my Equilibrium Straws Lab, which is available in my full year lab book. The idea here is that this is going to mimic an equilibrium reaction. This right here uh, represents my reactants. I have 10 milliliters of water. This empty graduated cylinder represents my reactants. Currently, I don't have anything. There's nothing in this graduated cylinder. And I'm going to be working with two straws may not be easy to tell, but they are of two different diameters. This red one is a little bit wider than the white one. And what's going to happen is that this red is going to represent the forward and the white is going to represent the reverse reaction. So I am going to use this straw, touch it to the bottom and touch my finger to the top and hold to pull up water inside of this straw. And I'll do the same here, although nothing is coming over. And that is going to be my first run of this reaction. So I'll drop that water here, imaginarily drop that water there and collect some data. So you can see now that my reactants are a lot less and my products, we are right about here. So if I were to read these, my reactants, are 3.75 and my, I'm sorry, those are my products. My reactants are 6.42. Um, if you were doing this lab, you would collect all of the data properly and record it in your lab book because we're gonna graph this data in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna run this again. We are going to do the forward and the reverse reactions touch all the way to the bottom, put your finger on the top of the straws, lift, transfer. And now we have an exchange here. This one is just 4.8 and here we are at 5.3. This should total 10 milliliters each time because I started with 10. Um, I may lose some along the way, like I just have a few drops there. That's all right. Okay, touch to the bottom for both of them at the same time. And swap. Okay, and now we have some data here. We would be collecting this data and swap again swap and swap this is just about 4.8 it's like 4.78 and this is 5. Point... i don't know 5.32 something in that range okay let's go again fingers at the top and transfer oh maybe i'll do it this way since i'm the one reading the measurements Okay, that's 5.4 on the products. Ooh. 5.4 on the products. Five point four on the products. I think you may be picking up what I'm putting down here. Five point four on the products. So going back and forth, we have found the equilibrium. I know I'm at equilibrium because my concentrations, or in this case, my volume is remaining constant. I have 5.4 on my products and I continually have 5.4 on my products. My reactants is about 4.4 ish. 
Um, I'm not really taking all that great of data here, but the point is that this represents an equilibrium reaction because now my concentration slash volumes are remaining constant and the rates are equal because I drop them in at the same time and I swap them at the same time and then I do it again, pick them up at the same time, drop them at the same time. Um, so my rates are constant. The rate of the forward is a little bit, um, well, the rates are the same, but the forward and the reverse reaction are um, different widths, which is fine. There's no difference there. Um, the entire point is that they are going to pick up based on the height of the column. So we are using two of the same sized graduated cylinders in order to do this lab. Um, if you graph this, uh, the graph will come out looking like um, a typical equilibrium graph where your reactants are going to drop over time your products are going to go up over time because we started with zero products and then we increased the amount and then um as this reaction continues at some point your graph is going to level out and that is how you will know that you reached equilibrium so thank you for joining me um in my kitchen for this equilibrium straws lab make sure to graph your data so that you can see it really well if you do it in google or Excel, you're gonna have the best uh, visual data there, but graphing it by hand should work pretty easily. So that is all. Please make sure to leave any questions you have in the comment section below the video. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one, and I'll see you there. Bye.